It's California Edition. I'm Brad Pomeroy. And Stanley Cummings is joining us. He is the San Luis Obispo County Veterans Services Officer, also now Vice President of the California Association of County Veterans Service Officers. Yes. And uh, this county is now the lead county in a statewide campaign called You Served, You Earned. That is correct. Talk to us about You Served, You Earned. So the whole idea of the, of the campaign is we have 1.8 million veterans in the state of California, but only about 25% are accessing the benefits and services they earn through their military service. And I want to talk about that figure because yeah. it is fascinating to me that uh, the reasons why many veterans don't access services. One is some don't realize they're veterans. Yeah, a lot of a lot of Explain vets. That. Yeah, a lot of vets because they didn't serve in combat or they didn't serve overseas. A lot of our female veterans don't think of themselves as veterans. They think of grandpa as the vet, their World War II or the Korean era vet. And so they, they come back and they and they don't plug into these benefits and services they've earned. And it's, un, it's unfortunate because it's just like any other employment package you would have at Jeez. any company, you know, they, they've earned these benefits. And so this whole campaign is to get the word out statewide that, hey, if you served in any of these branches of the military, you've earned these benefits and you need to access them. What about those that feel as if you know, I'm self-reliant, I'm self-sufficient, I don't want a handout. Yeah, and, and, and we get that. And I think what there's a mindset we need to change there is that it's not a handout. Just like you work for Charter, you get a benefits package. These men and women serve their country, they work for the U.S. government, they get a benefits package, and this is part of that package. Another thing we get a lot is the older vets saying, we'll save it for the younger guys. Mm -hmm. What they don't realize is that everything was set aside for them when they went right. through. And so they're not taken away from anybody by accessing those benefits and services. So tell us about the campaign. So the campaign's great. We've got a lot of vets that have stepped up and we've done, you know, photo shoots and, and campaign and, and put together a lot of campaign material, posters, mm -hmm. flyers, TV spots, radio spots, and they're already being broadcast throughout the state. Mm -hmm. We've got uh, a radio station and a mm -hmm. TV station in Fresno area. Mm -hmm. The Bay Area is on board. We hope to help. We're working. Yeah, we're hopefully mm -hmm. going to work with you guys and we've got some folks down south working on it as well. So. And we're just trying to get veterans to realize that they've earned these benefits and drive them into the county veteran service offices to, to access them. I know the campaign's new, but yeah. are you getting a sense that you are receiving some traction based upon the awareness that you're putting out? Yeah, we are. We've got a 1-800 number that's, that's a big piece of the program. They, they call that number and they enter their zip code and it plugs them into their closest veteran service office. Mm -hmm. And we're, we started out just getting a, you know, a, a small amount coming in. Now we're over 400 a month coming in on that. And this, we're doing a big push right now in November for Veterans Day mm -hmm. and everything coming up and mm -hmm. we expect that to grow even larger. So what type of services are available? There's all sorts of stuff. For our older veterans, there's aid and attendance for them and their spouses if they're a wartime vet. Mm -hmm. There's service-connected disability. So if you were injured in service, the, the military and the government will help take care of you, not only medically, but give you a small compensation package mm -hmm. for that injury. There's school education benefits. There's home loan benefits. Are you facing challenges in light of the scandal? regarding the VA because it really is a completely separate beast. It, it is and a you separate beast. You are not beast. the VA, no, and that, and yet that, yeah. that's a, a PR challenge. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We get that every day. A lot of people come to our office, they think we're the VA, and right. they, don't, they don't realize that all the county veteran service offices and, and CalVet and all that, state. we're there to advocate right. for the veteran. you're also a state agency, we're, correct? Well, no, we're a county agency, no, but, it, but we're tied. Which is the arm of the state or the arm of the no, VA? No, arm of the county. Our, okay. But we're, we receive some, some funding from the state, but none from the VA. We're actually- but that's our, the key. Yeah, our job is to advocate with for the veteran up against, not, I shouldn't say against, but with, you. when they deal with the VA. Okay. I want to thank so. you so much for what you're doing. Congratulations on your vice presidency. Thank you. I expect you. you to be president very soon. Okay. His <laughs> name is Dana Cummings. He is a veteran services officer in San Luis Obispo County. My name is Brad Pomerantz. It's California Edition.